Hi, this is Sarah from Geeky Abode, and today I am showing a flip through of our Harbor and Sprout Astronomy Unit, and let's get started. My name is Sarah, and I love sharing homeschool content. This is where I love to share curriculum, books, and games, and just homeschooling life adventures. If that sounds good to you, please hit the subscribe button and join me. In this video, I am sharing the items that I received and had printed for our Harbor and Sprout Astronomy Unit. This is, we're going to start off with some of the loose pieces that I had printed. And I had all of this printed at the Homeschool Printing Company, which we have been very happy with. This is a character. It says, hi, my name is Stella. I am an astronomer. Every single unit with Harbor and Sprout comes with a character and information about that character that you'll be working with throughout the unit. You also get a little nice little badge with your character. You get a card about astronomy and a QR code here, code here about your Explorer Toolkit. A letter from your character. And these are like paper dolls, scrapbook items, nature journals. They're cutouts that you can use however you wish. I thought they were beautiful, so I had these printed that way my kids could play with them. You can also laminate them, which is great. I had this printed out. I thought that was a beautiful representation. And then some really, really great coloring pictures and pages that came with the unit that I thought my kids would really enjoy coloring. And there are more supplemental pages that you can have printed out. These are just the ones that I selected that I thought that my kids would enjoy the most. So those are the loose supplements that I had printed. And next I'm going to dig into the subjects that I had printed. Like I discussed in my previous video about what subjects that we selected, I selected three core subjects, the science, the history, and the geography, in addition to supplementing along with some artwork and a little bit of language arts. So this is what the beginning of the science unit looks like. This is a beautiful cover page. And there is also a printout that you can follow exactly if you wish for each week of the month. And this curriculum, like I said before, is set up for a month-long unit study, although we are not using it that way and you don't need to use it that way. But if you want to, it's all set out and laid out for you perfectly. You have your explorer age, your investors, investigators age, adventurers, and discoverers. Now, when you look at this page, you see week one, week two, week three, week four. And this is just a small description over what you're going to be doing for that study that day or that week. So week one, we're working with the solar system. And all of the artwork in this unit study is really beautiful. It's like watercolor. It's really pretty and soft. Lesson one, you'll, it'll tell you what you'll do in lesson one. And there's also QR codes to videos. And then you have your information. And like I said before, this is a curriculum where you don't need to purchase any other books to go along with it. All of your information and videos is, is um, supplied right in the unit. You may need to buy some supplies, though, for like science experiments and art experiments. But besides that, all of your information is within the unit. Which is nice. I like both. Look at the pretty watercolor. And then the planets. And then there's information about each planet. And the moon. The name game of the planets. Some planet fact sheet. This would be a great one that I plan on printing out multiple copies of this and maybe once a once a week. What, we're doing this unit study once a week, but every week we can highlight one of the planets and learn a little bit about each planet. 
You have your create your own solar system. Some handwriting. Week two, dwarf planets and comets. More QR codes with information and activity. Information about Pluto. Pluto was a planet for the longest time. It's hard to believe it's not anymore. Pluto, more dwarf planets, ones that I don't even know about. So isn't it fun as a homeschool mom sometimes? It's almost like you're learning along with your kids. I think that's one of the most fun parts about it is that I'm learning things that I didn't know or relearning things, and it's just it's fun. That's one of the fun parts. So we have comets, asteroids. Week three, the night sky, galaxies, and black holes. QR code for night sky apps. All about black holes on that page. Stars, the night sky of the northern hemisphere. The night sky of the southern hemisphere. The night sky, this is like, what constellations did you see tonight? So that's fun. Com my most common star constellations. The sun. Galaxies. We have all different types of galaxies. And then week four, space telescopes. So we have eight planet experiments are with this QR code. And a little information about the telescopes. Design your own planet. Some notes. And look at the planets, pretty. These are some book re recommendations. I'm getting this one. I love all of the DK knowledge encyclopedia books. They are awesome. This one I think I've had before. It is for younger children, but Osborne's great too. I've read this before. It's beautiful artwork. These I love because they are real photographs. The Planetarium, those books are great too. And, oops, sorry, I bumped it. Trump, Trump's is good. Another game, which I'll be getting spoiler alert in my resource video, is the um, Professor Noggins card games. Those are fun too. Let's see. History... So history, since history is a new, a different subject, they also have all the lesson plans for each week and each age level or level of learner. We have a brief description of what you'll be studying and doing in that unit that week. And we have who found the stars. And we have who found the stars, the beginnings. Man, look at that. Isn't that pretty? I think this is really pretty. Yes. Historical figure report. Oops, sorry. Yikes. Different activities. And this is a sheet that has four historical figure flashcards. And with every unit of Harborized Sprout, there will be different historical figure flashcards. So there's something that you can... Keep, and this might be something, I haven't printed out here on thin paper, but you might want to have this printed out on cardstock. And it is also set up, so this can be double-sided printed, printed, and it's nice because they realize that and they have a blank sheet on the opposite side because you want to cut those out. So I always appreciate that when you get something printed. Peeking at the stars. Get all this information. I think this is wonderful. Lots of information about telescopes. A telescope timeline with really pretty artwork, astronomer spotlight, QR code to a video, the historical figure report, how does an astronomer study the stars, and then a fingerprint solar system, which is fine. Week three, traveling with the stars, and then this is, the, this is another page that is set up that could be cards. Traveling with the stars, all this information, about the compass, the historical figure, some coloring pages, traveling to the stars, week four. Look at this, this is great because there's some great pictures here that you don't need to go anywhere else to gather information and the QR codes to hear Neil Armstrong's landing on the moon and hear his famous quote, which 
you have to have that if you're if you're studying space. And let's see. We have a timeline of space travel. More historical figure cards. Some famous quotes. Another astronomer spotlight with QR codes. A figure report. A puzzle. Let's see which planet would you visit. Coloring pages. Helpful links and references. And this sheet came with Homeschool Printing Company. In between each print order or item that you print, they always put these pages. That way you can easily find your things. So that's where that comes from. Geography. Geography, let's see. Same thing, lesson plans, description of each lesson. Week one is Italy. And we explore Italy information, the national anthem. The Italian flag, build your own pizza. And here's a little game that they have that has some trivia questions and building your own pizza. So your kids can cut that out, answer the trivia questions, build their pizza. Maps, look at these, these are pretty. Italian maps, bodies of water, cities and islands, a blank map of Italy. And then week three is Galileo. Little falls, moon phases, slider craft, and ancient Rome. We have ancient Rome, some history, some QR codes, a timeline of Roman civilization. So you could easily take this. This is set up for like a month's worth of stuff, but you could really take this and expand on it. Like I'm doing it over 12 weeks, but I'm only doing one lesson a week. But easily you could expand on this and make it more than what you have here. But you'll have tons of things here as is. Your event labels for the timeline, Latin phrases. You can use that for copy work it suggests. Roman gods and goddesses. And then a coloring cage of ancient Rome. So those are those three. And I have another one left. And I, this is probably my favorite part. And it is the art. I had this one printed out for each kid and put in these that I had them binded with the covers. The other, the other ones, I like to do the three hole punch sometimes because when my kids are going to be taking pages out and writing on them, I find having it in a binder or a three hole punch works better. But if we're just using it as an instructional guide, I like having it binded like this. So art, we have the lesson plans, the lessons for each week. Week one is modernism. And look at this, an artist spotlight. You have a picture of your artist, your information about them, and then you have examples of their artwork. And it's beautiful color artwork. So you don't have to get a separate book. I loved that. And then you have all these different, this is for the explorers and investigators in art project based on that artist. And this is another one, Explorers, Investigators, and Art Projects. Same artist, Adventures and Discoverers, an art project. So that was three different art projects for one artist. And you have Making Your Own Watercolor, Adventures and Discoverers, another artist. This is still just week one. This is what, <laughs> I mean, to me, this is something that, that's why I said I'm probably going to break it up under multiple weeks because that's a lot of stuff. I could easily do these art projects probably like one a week for like three or four weeks. So you have this artist and look at this artwork. And then week two, post-impressionism. Post-impressionism. Sometimes I can't talk and read. Post-impressionism. Look at this. Beautiful examples. Put it in color. Van Gogh, there's your Van Gogh, your information about him, all these examples. So you really get a really good variety and idea of what this artist did for work. QR code. And then look at this. We have Explorers and Adventures Starry Night. That's awesome. We, then we have this slide puzzle, which is really cool. And you can find more information about that painting right there. <laughs> Cafe Terrace at night. Starry night over the... Let's see. 
more artwork, Adventurers and Discoverers for the older age. Week three, Surrealism. Examples of that artwork. Look at that. And then you have your Artist Spotlight. And then Art Projects. A couple different art projects. Another artist art project. This looks like so much fun. You paint the background and then you cut out printed photos of yourself or your kids and you glue them onto the background. You dip your cotton ball into white acrylic and dab it on the moon. I mean, and glue bits on the trees. That looks like it's to be so much fun. That'd be the type of artwork that I would end up hoarding and keeping forever. Cubism, Pablo Picasso. So you're really hitting some major artists just in this study or that comes along with astronomy. Some of his Picasso's art periods. And some more examples of fun artwork. And it's great because not everything's painting. This is sand and moon tile art. This is salt constellation artwork. And there's QR codes throughout there for more information or more options that you can do. A self portrait. So that is what we have and what I've chosen to do. And I've also added some more things in for some activities and some books and I'll be coming up with a video pretty soon. If it's not my next video, it'll be the one after that that has all of the extra resources that I'm adding into this full unit study. And we're really going to dig in and have a lot of fun with this astronomy unit. So this is a quick flip through of the Harvard and Sprout astronomy unit. This is not everything you get with it. There's also at least language arts and math. There's also nature and some more um, supplemental things that you can have with this that came along with it. I just chose these items for us because this is what's going to work best for this, us at this point in time. I will link them down below. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. It was just a new curriculum that I was really interested in trying. And I thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please post those down below. Please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out any videos that I post in the future. And have a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye.